Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Cities Skyline, the uh, city of Manatheran. So, I uh, had some people like, commenting, they're like, Why don't you build across the river? You've bought, <laughs> you've bought all this space. Well, I want to maintain the grid, and so until we can perfectly maintain the grid across the river, we're going to expand this way. Uh, we probably could do it soon, actually. Also, the city's getting big enough that it might not make sense, really. To only have one in inbound highway um, thing, but hey, we just got all this uh, the high density stuff, so let's see how that goes. Our demand is going to go into the tank while we grow rapidly. Hopefully, we get to the point where we can actually get our uh, our water based power, which is the main reason we're playing on this map, and uh, that will be nice because we do have a lot of these things. The uh, got to make a lot of them. 165 megawatts. It'd be cool if you could see a breakdown, like where that's all coming from. Look at that, we're only getting 7 megawatts out of these. Apparently it does vary occasionally. I remember it was 8. I'm pretty sure I only placed them at 8, and now they're at 7. Some of them. You think that the buildings could actually be affecting wind speed? I wonder. I wonder. Because I'm pretty sure I planted those right in the dark green. Or turquoise, or whatever color you'd call that. Alright, so now that we have access to the, the commercial buildings, which should satisfy, um, sorry, the office buildings, which should satisfy industrial demand, uh, we apparently will still need some industry, regular industry, to provide commercial buildings with goods to sell or something. But I think what we should do is start passing some policies and things. Where are those at? Over here. So we have access to pretty much everything now. We can do education boost. Um, it's probably about time to build a a better uh, uh, education system too. What are we doing on that? We could definitely use another elementary. We've got 786 eligible, so it's time for another one. Let's plop you down, I guess, down here. Would you rather have it off-center and have OCD problems, or in the center, but have two little 1x4 residential buildings? I'll go with in the center. All right, so that handles the elementary. The high school is actually way over capacity as well. Um, let's see. Normally I'd like to put it like here, but I think I'm actually going to put it over here. So that we can eventually do like a, a triangle arrangement type thing. So the way we did a high school last time... Well, let's do this. Um, it's got to be in the center, please. And then I think I had done something. Let's just go check, because I don't remember exactly how I had done it. Well, it was on the opposite side. Yep, yeah, so it's just right diagonal to the two ends. Then I'd put a thing like here. Sorry people, I know you just moved in. I'm very sad for you. But progress. Progress must be made. Alright, so there's the high school. And I think it's time as well to just do university, because we've got 400 some people who are eligible. Now the university is much bigger. Probably going to take up an entire... Yeah, look at that. It's going to take up like a six cell block. Well, I don't really care about the money, because we have plenty of money. Let's plant it. And then we'll just relocate it. Because it's easier to see the size, I think, after it's... Ah, maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, this one should just go right in the center, then. I'd say the center's like right about there. Congratulations, you're now homeless. So let's bring you in. And yeah, it takes up almost the entire thing. So they'll just have to have no uh, no walkway there. What we'll do though is, uh, since this one does come in, might as well have it at least come down so that they can walk to it. 
So we'll kind of go like this. Now why is that not even? Shouldn't it be able to go down right there? Hold on. From here, one, two, three. From here. One, two, three. Ugh. It's not even! It's so hideous! And I guess, uh... I guess we'll dezone this. Just so that nobody moves in there. We'll leave those empty. There's your university. Alright, so education can happen. Um, we'll do the education boost, I think, in the budget. Anything else we want to kind of pump up? Parks and recreation, definitely. Recreational use. Don't care about the police budget. Free public transport. What public transport? We don't have that. Everyone here walks. Okay. Lots of traffic. I think these are all the people who are moving in. Once they get to their house, they should never use their car again. But they've got to drive a car to get here. Mm hmm. Yep, that's just all people trying to move move down there. I suppose for now, we could just kind of give them a, an off-ramp. There you go. Move in. It's for moving in only. That's the move-in ramp. Probably should have used the curve tool. So that it looked a little bit prettier. But they'll, they'll manage. They'll, they'll get in there. Hey, we're a small city. Yay, we got the train. Uh, High-tech housing is going to be necessary. And the hydropower plant. Yes, let's go build that. So first off, we will pass that policy. Uh, city planning, high-tech housing. And the entire thing. So this is going to turn homes into much cooler smart homes. Raise land value slightly around them. And it does cost us four bucks per building. So we're going to lose some money on that at first. Um, but here are all the upgrades happening all of a sudden. Upgrades, upgrades. We look at our income. Actually got most of them at level 3, so very few are at level 5, but we should start seeing people upgrade to, to level 3, to level 4, to level 5. That is the idea. Higher tax income. As long as we're making some money, I don't really care. Um, how are you guys doing? Look at that. They're already getting up to level, uh, level 6. No, not level 6, sorry. What am I talking about? Level 5. <laughs> These guys need more education. We're working on that. Right, so, the, the dam. Let's go build the dam. So somewhere, we're going to want to find a spot that we can put this thing, and it's going to estimate 1,600 megawatts. Which, there's a couple spots you can do it. Find like the peak value on this side, 1440, okay. Maybe we have to build a little bit further upstream. No, that's worse. I may have bought the wrong zone. I don't think I did though. We want exactly 1600, it's very important. Alright, we just need to make it a little bit wider. There we go. There it is. That sounds good. Build it. And we will connect the power lines from there to our city. And it might take some time. It, in fact, it will take some time for this thing to start working. You pay 220,000 some simoleon ducat things. I should not call them simoleons. That's totally not right. Um, but yeah, you get zero power from it until it actually starts to... The water level has to rise, 
up to a certain point on the dam, and then it will start to feed through, and that's what generates the power. So the risk with these things is that if you, you build them in, in a spot you haven't experimented with before, that the water could just overflow and flood into your city, and you might get poo everywhere. But um, I've kind of played with it a bit, and I know that this one's a, a really, really ideal spot for it, because you can get the absolute maximum efficiency for, for power. Totally, totally the best. Like, these guys, I think I've already mentioned it before, um, they are 10 bucks per megawatt. This thing is going to be two. Two bucks per megawatt. It's nuts. Right, so we've got the incineration plants. How are we doing on garbage? Incineration status. Garbage incinerators. 14. Okay, we're producing more overall garbage than the incinerators can handle. So we need, we need to have a surplus of incinerators to catch up on the, on the amount of garbage that's being produced. We're going to have you empty to another building. These guys are in the process of emptying. And look, at, look at all those garbage trucks. This is like Flight of the Valkyries with garbage trucks. Dun 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 Look at them all. Look at there's a little moped in there. Dude, you're not a garbage truck. You garbage moped. Oh, you know what else? I think we also have access to incinerators, too. Or, uh, not incinerators. Well, they are kind of incinerators. Crematoriums. Uh, the Daffodil residents. Citizens are sick. I guess I haven't really paid much care attention to healthcare, have I? We only have a single medical clinic. No hospital. It's actually doing pretty well, considering. Can we get away with just regular clinics? Let's see. You can have 500 patients, but you cost 2400 so you cost more than you can treat, but I'm imagining that you are... What's better about it? I don't know, we'll just put clinics. They fit into our grid a little bit better. So, who's gonna get dehoused? I think it's gonna be you. Say so that'll cover that area. Of course, hopefully the sick people over here aren't, uh... Come on, you've, you've got a place to go. Alright, let's start going through the list. So power's good, water's good, garbage usage. Um, we are operating at a negative rate. We're, we're burning through our capacity for storage. So we're cleaning up the landfills. Education, we've got lots of eligible kids. We can only educate 900 of them, so 200 or 300 of them are going to be stupid. Uh, I guess we should build one more elementary somewhere. A lot of people living over here. Oh, that's right. He said, I, I kind of wish everything was a 4x4. Lots of demand for almost everything. You know what? Um, oh, and you know what also? Someone had mentioned that I had just made a silly mistake, actually. When I had done the, the blueprint by putting the rails on both sides, I ruined it. Which makes sense, although I still feel like, intuitively, it should be kind of like, kind of like in Factorio, where if you plant down a structure and it's the same structure, it should just let you place it. Like, it shouldn't do... Alright, so we get rid of them on one side. So these ones... Actually, no, I, I, I think I should do it the other way. Because I want to connect to an existing one. Wait a minute. Will connecting to an existing one work? I think so. Ah, shoot, I just did it wrong again. Alright, right, um, and then the same thing on these ones, I think. Should be one or the other. This isn't right anyway. First off, go just to the end where you belong. I think it's only supposed to go out four. One, two, three, four, yep. Yep. 
Okay, and then, alright, so on this on this layout, I've got it connecting to the existing, like, pretend there's like a full one already over here. So I think I want to connect it on this side as well. But not on the other side. Alright, let's save it up, call it the Mark VI, see how it goes. I'm hoping that we see a new patch pretty soon that's going to um, put the pictures in the game. For your items, because the more custom assets you put into the game, the more complicated and difficult it gets to actually find what you're looking for. Which is really quite annoying. I don't know how it got through uh, development, actually, without realizing that custom assets don't work properly. Let's go check on our, uh, on our, where is it? Where'd it go? Our bridge. Our land, our thing. Still producing zero power. It takes time. It takes it takes a long time, like at least half a year to a year before the water level rises high enough that it can do something. Okay, so um what were we gonna do? We were going to build another section. We were gonna try that out. So we're gonna go to interchanges. We're looking for the mark six. Of course they're in no no order. And it's going to be impossible to test with this highway here. Well, I think it's time we relocate this highway anyway, don't you? So, we're going to use a curve tool. And we're going to have you kind of... swing away from the town a bit. The money doesn't matter to me. It's gonna mess up that whole interchange, isn't it? Well, let's, uh... We'll put in one of the big ones. Although, I don't like that one. I want to use mine. This is what's frustrating about it. You gotta look through and like find find them. Alright, so we want this guy. It's gonna have to go about here. It's not exactly what I wanted, but okay. It works. These ones will just leave unconnected. So that means that you come in all the way up there. And now we gotta run you alongside as best as we can, which is not very good. Oh, had I not planted highway there? This is all supposed to be highway. Almost done. It works. It's hideous. I love it. So you gotta go really far away now. 
come in through this way. That's how you get into our city. This is isolated. I might I might give him another on-ramp. Wouldn't mind having like one singular on-ramp. Out of city limits, huh? Alright, well they've still got a way to get to the city. If they're coming in, just moving into their houses. And then after that, it's to the walkways with you. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.